Oh, Helen. Oh, yes. yes. Can you tell me when you were in the Brownies? <sighs> it was when you were at school. Yes, when I was at boarding school. Um, well, it must have been in the 1940s, late 1940s. 1920s, I think. Oh, was it? 20s, yeah. Oh, I was only about... I was only born in 1918, wasn't I? 1917, so if it was the end of the 1920s, you would have been about 11 or 12. Yes. So that would have been about right. Yes. And who did you have in your six? I had Betty Bowden Powell. Who, who, who was? The daughter of the founder. Who was? Lord Baden Powell. That's right, yes. Yes. And did she know a lot about... No, she didn't, but she was learning. <laughs> she said, I've got to learn for this. Father said so. <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> yes. And did you do things with the, the guides when you were at school? Yes, we did lots of things. What did you do? Oh, I don't know. No. Did you build campfires and things? Oh, absolutely, yes. Weekends away, under in a tent at, at times. Did you go to Brown Sea Island where... No, the... I never went there. No. Um, did you ever meet Lord baden Powell? No. He never came to visit his daughter at school? Well, he may have done, but he was wafted through. I think he did come and look, see her, but he was wafted through so quickly from meeting the headmistress and various things that we just sort of saw his car and cheered him. Right. Coming and going. That was all. Yes. But Betty baden Paul was in my six. Yeah. I can't remember what it was called now. Doesn't matter, does it, Helen? Yeah. <laughs> I was only about 12. I think you were about 12. Yeah. I think I was. Did you become a guide after that? I did. I didn't enjoy guides nearly as much. Why they, not? Well, they didn't do such fun things. That's why, yes. No, because I can't remember when the brownies started. I think they... They probably had only just started, actually. They had only he, just started. Um, because but to start with, he did the scouts. Yes. And then the girls wanted something, so they That's had right. guides. And then the boys wanted something, so they did cubs. Yes, you're absolutely and then right. they introduced yeah, brownies. Yes. I wonder why they were called brownies. Because of the uniform, I think. Oh. Yes. And the, the leaders were called um, brown owl? Yes, brown owl. Well done. Yes, she was the senior one. Yes. We had Betty Baden Powell. You did? In, in our six for a while because she was at a, a school nearby. Yeah. And then when I was little in person, you, you were involved with the guides too, weren't you? You were a commissioner or something. I think I was. They asked me to do various things, yes. Um, and I was a brownie at up near the up the other end of the village yes in the parish rooms on the great green next in to the, the next <laughs> to the blacks next to the blacksmith shop yes that's right yes yes and we used to do parades didn't we for remembrance sunday yes definitely everybody paraded uh, to church and out of church mm. yes did you parade round the village well i think we then marched back to and we were dismissed it somewhere. Somewhere. In, in the market square yeah. to go home for lunch. Yes. Mm -hmm. Something like that. Mm -hmm. uh -oh. Yes. That put me in good training for the army. <laughs> Did you march in the army? Uh, very much so. And we had the Queen there too. Yes. Oh. <laughs> All these people coming caused... We enjoyed having them, but there was a lot of preparation and palaver. Did she you didn't stay there, did she? No. We didn't have any... A, enough protection from anybody. Right. And so we, after all, Camberley isn't all that far from the coast. If they had from been, Windsor? 
Oh no, not far from the coast if there'd been an invasion. If there'd been an invasion, and that's what we were all, te that was what we were expecting. Right. And we were amazed if, if they'd come, they'd have just, well, mm -hmm. I don't know, maybe we might just have survived, but it would have been a tough job. Right. There weren't all that many of us left behind. Everybody was in Europe, defending Europe. Right. Uh, forgetting about, about us. Where was Mike? Was he? He was, um, he was in Europe with his squadron. He was in the Far East, wasn't he, at that stage? Yes, he was at that stage. Um, we've got lots of letters that he wrote back to his father. Yes. But in the letters, he can't even actually say where he was. No. Was oh. he in the army or in the air force? Oh, what did he do in the air force? He was. It was a a night fighter squadron. Mm -hmm. What he can remember what he flew? Len Lenin's. Lenin's. I think so. And he's remembered on the memorial, isn't he, in London? Yes, he is. Which memorial is that? That's the one by the Thames for the Battle of Britain. Battle of Britain. Um, and we went to a wonderful Battle of Britain um, memorial service in, in London after the war. You've been to several, haven't you, with Dad? And yes, then I have. I must have driven you up and you went to it in... Oh, St. Patrick was about 1820. So 90... Not... 90, which would be the 50th anniversary of the actual Battle of Britain. Yes. And we drove you up to London and to the but, Chelsea Barracks. Yes. And then you were taken by bus to Buckingham Palace. Yes, we were. Well, um, the Queen, did she come and inspect us? No, you were all in the stands. There were big stands erected for oh, you. Yes. And then there we was marched a, past her. No, you sat in the stands because Dad wasn't very well then. He couldn't walk very far. Yeah. But you were there and there were, Rachel and I were in the mall and there was a big fly past of everybody. Yes. Of all the planes. Um, and it was a big event. So yes. Dad, had, Dad and you had been specially invited to yes. sit on I don't know stand. what year that was. I think it was 1990. Um, yes because it would have been the 50th anniversary of the Battle of Britain. Oh, right. And didn't Mike get a medal? Yes, he did. What did he get? The DFC. Mm, which stands for... Distinguished Flying Cross. Yeah. Oh, why was that? Well, that was for his time uh, fighting. Yes. I mean, he... he w with his squadron, really... Nearly the whole of that part of the war, he was, they were out and fighting, because we were, they, what we all said, expected, if 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 the Germans mm -hmm. decided to invade, yes, he was in the Battle of Britain. So he yes. was part of the Battle of Britain. Oh, absolutely. He was in a Blenheim. Yes, that they'd have been zooming down to the coast as they were coming or when they came. Mm -hmm. So they were practicing all that. Oh. And he yes. was based at Middle Wallop, wasn't he? He was. Um, yes. There and then, was it about 1941-42, he went out to the to North Africa? Yes, and that's what, after that. They had no success in, in getting to us and beating us at home. So they attacked us in North Africa where we had quite a bit of land and people. Mm. So that's and where he went about then went to fight from there and I, I don't know I must have what did I I joined I, I'd already joined the army by then you had yes yes and what did you do in the army I rode a motorbike and led the convoys and it that was something because there were huge vehicles behind me and tanks and everything and I felt if I suddenly had to stop I felt sure that it would be able to pull up in time without scooping me out of the way first. <laughs> and, and did Princess Elizabeth visit? Um, 
Yes, I don't know that she wasn't fighting these sort of exercises. No. Because she didn't ride anything. But did she, she enjoyed it. it. Yeah. She thought it was all great fun. Yes. <laughs> we weren't so sure at times whether <laughs> it was fun or not. No. Anyway, there we are. Thank you.